Hello and welcome. So I'm Nikki Duffy and this is the Choosing for Today show and um, this is episode three and the uh, title of today's show is The Gift of Allowance and the, the underlying theme of, of these shows at the moment is money, 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 money. So um, The Gift of Allowance uh, so I've been listening to um, a, a telecall by Gary Douglas, the founder of Access, Con Access Consciousness uh, lately. And uh, the telecall is called Allowance, the Ultimate Source of Success. And um, the quote from it is, Allowance will allow you to succeed in areas of life, money and business when nothing else will. And so I made some notes because um, there were various things that I, I wanted to uh, remember to go over. So excuse me if you hear a um, bit of rustling paper or, um, you know, you see me looking away if, if, you, if you're watching the video. Um, yeah, so giving yourself the gift of allowance. So what is allowance? Um, and a, a lot of the time uh, people get allowance muddled up and they think that being in allowance um, to means being a doormat. They think being an allowance means um, letting things slide and, um, and it's not that at all. Being an allowance of someone um, can be I recognize you're lying to me and that's unacceptable to me, goodbye. And that's, that's allowance because you're willing to um, recognize that they are lying to you and you're willing to uh, honor yourself by recognizing that them lying to you in that way is unacceptable to you. And you can have allowance for the fact that they're lying, but not have to spend any time, of, you don't have to spend a second longer with them. And you don't, and that frees you from being at the effect of their lies or whatever it is that else that's going on, whatever the situation is. And allowance is not about making allowances for somebody, you know, not making allowances for somebody's bad behavior. It's like, oh, well, they're not feeling well. They can treat me like uh, a doormat, you know, because they're not feeling well. No, 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 no. Um, that's that's not being allowance as well. It's, it's not making allowances for people's bad or unacceptable behaviour. Um, and you don't have to accept people's nastiness and meanness. It's, it's not, allowance is not acceptance. Acceptance is, well, that's the way it is and there's nothing I can do about it. It sort of goes into that victim energy. It's like, well, what can I do? That's acceptance. It's like, I might not like it, but I'm powerless. No, allowance is very, very different. Allowance is allowing you to be the power and the potency that you be. And also allowing your awareness for what else is going on. And it doesn't mean that you have to put up with it. It doesn't mean you have to accept it. It doesn't mean that you have to um, you, you, that you have to be around it when it's happening. And if you've got any questions that um, either if you're watching this live that come up, please type them in. I would love your questions. Or if you, if you're um, listening or watching listening to the recording or watching the recording, then um, you can. Uh, message me and I will uh, be happy to address them perhaps in, a, in another show um, or, or some other way. So I would love your questions. Um, feel free to ask anything about these subjects, you know, and if, if something I say, particularly, hi Della, thanks for joining. I was just saying, feel free to ask questions. <laughs> and um, if something I say, particularly uh, sort of gets you and you're like oh or really annoys you or you have a strong reaction to it then um that's a great time to ask a question 
So, and I will be in allowance of your questions. <laughs> There's no such thing as a stupid question. So please um, feel free to, um, to ask questions. And what allowance can you be for you that you've not previously been willing to be that if you would allow that allowance would actualize a different reality? So um, I'll go back to my, my notes. Uh, yeah, so you don't, allowance is not acceptance, is not making other people's poor behavior, crappy attitudes or um, stuff like that. It's not making stuff that's not okay, it's not making it okay. It's recognizing what's going on and being willing to see it and then you are in a space of choice. And so it's, it's about, so allowance is about being aware of what's going on and, um, and then making choice from that state of awareness and also realizing that whatever is going on, it's not personal to you. So allowance is about not putting meaning to what whatever's going on so to use the example i was using before about um uh you know someone's lying to you so you can be an allowance of them being a liar and you can be an allowance of them of of you of being aware that they are lying and when they are lying and it doesn't mean that you have to buy their lies and it doesn't mean that it doesn't have any, the fact that they are lying does not have any significance to you. It's not a personal, um, uh, it's not something personal against you. It's just, they lie. That's just something they do. And they lie to, they probably lie to themselves. They probably lie to lots and lots and lots of other people. It's not about you. It's about them. So when you are in allowance, you are more willing to recognize that what other people are doing is more about them. And it's not a personal, personal thing against you <sighs> or for you, because we can get stuck in, um, you know, we can get blinded by um, the great stuff that people do and say the um, the compliments and um, and not recognize uh, not when we're not an allowance of that person say there's someone so I've, I've got a, um, a family member who every time um, she sees me she has to say oh that's a lovely top or oh I like the way you've done your hair that way oh you look nice in that she's got to say something and there's not in a lot of sincerity about it. And it's more about her feeling like she needs to feel good about herself or make me feel good about me. Or it's, I don't know what the weird energy is, but um, when I'm in allowance, because it used to, it used to get, it used to really annoy me. It's like, well, there's not a lot of sincerity in that. And um, so now that I've learned to be an allowance of that, and let me just tell you now, I am I'm not like, oh, a perfect allowance person. Just because I'm talking about this subject doesn't mean I get it right all the time and that I remember to be an allowance all the time. And that's okay. It's, it's, it's a muscle that we grow. And having allowance as a possibility and a gift in our lives then it just opens up the, uh, our possibilities, our choices. And um, so that's, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not perfectly alla in allowance at all. So going, going back to my family member, when I, you know, it used to get to me, I was like, well, there's not a lot of sincerity about, about that. You know, she said, oh, um, I really like the way you got your hair today. I'd be like, what's, what's wrong with my hair? Why, is, why is she mentioned my hair? It's exactly the same as it always is. What's different? What's, why, what's wrong with my hair? Um, <laughs> how cool is that? It's funny that the funkiness we go into. And now I'm more willing to be an allowance of just the way that she does that and, um, and receive, 
receive whatever it is, you know, because when, when you are in allowance, then you are open to receiving. And, you know, even though there's not a lot of like sincerity in there, there's a gift in there somewhere, you know, that she, she wants me to receive something. And it's something that I'm willing to receive now. So um, what allowance can you be for yourself and for those around you? Oh, we've got a question. Okay, Della, thank you. So I'll read Della's question. I have a family member who is a compulsive liar and I find this very interesting as I have detached myself from her as I feel that she is insulting my intelligence by lying. Yes, that is a brilliant example. Thank you for that. So yes, it's not about her like personally insulting you. It's when, when we can be in allowance of recognizing what people are doing. It's like, oh, okay, so she's lying to me. Interesting point of view. I have that point of view. And interesting point of view is one of the tools of access, which I'm, Della, I know that you, you do access as well, so you're probably familiar with it. Um, and I'll talk more about, about it um, generally afterwards. And um, yeah, so, um, when we're not in a that's that's a great point you made as well because when we're not in allowance of people and and what they are doing and being then um we have to create separation and um and in creating that separation we are cutting off our awareness so we are less likely to be aware of when they are lying to us and when they're not lying to us and all the other stuff that's going on there. So by separating, we are um, cutting off that awareness. But when we are in allowance of who they are and what they do, you know, we know that they, they, lie, they lie to us and lie to us and lie to us and lying is their thing, then we can be in our awareness. And when we're in allowance of them being a liar, then we can be in our awareness of, okay, is this a lie? They, they tend to lie. Is this a lie that they are telling me? And um, sometimes that gives us information when we are willing to be in that aware, uh, allowance and awareness. It gives us additional information about where they're coming from. It's like, okay, they're telling me this lie and then it being your allowance and awareness, you recognize what it is they are trying to achieve with that lie. You know, what is it they're asking for? What's the energy underneath the lie? What do they want from you? Or what, what do they require that if you are willing to give it to them, is there an energy they require maybe? Is, is there, you know, some kind of um, something that is easy for you to give and that you're willing to give that you can just energetically gift them or physically gift them that would change their worlds and change your total interaction and blow apart the reality of how things used to be around them and between you. And what else could be possible with that when you are in your awareness, when you are willing to be in allowance of them without judging them for being a liar or for lying to you in the past and remembering that just, you know, when being allowance of the fact that they've lied to you in the past and simply because they've lied to you in the past does not necessarily mean they will lie to you in the future. And being in your awareness, you will know when and what so hi sheena hi parita thanks for joining us we're just having a, a, a fun discussion on allowance and um so we were talking about um when we're not in allowance we are creating separation so i was listening to um gary's call the um allowance the ultimate source of success and he was saying about um Allowance is when we can truly be in allowance of all things and all people. That is a form of oneness. You know, when, when you look out of the window and you, you're preparing to go out and you have to go out and you look out the window and it's, oh, it's raining. Oh, 
God, it's raining. And um, when you're in allowance of the fact that it's raining, instead of judging the rain and then everything that that means to you, oh my God, I'm going to be late. I'm going to, I'm going to get wet and it's going to be miserable and I'm going to get cold and uh, the traffic's going to be worse, all those things. So that's, that's an example of all the meanings that we put onto something when we're not in allowance of it. So if we strip all of that back, take back all the meanings that we've put on, like what it means if it's raining outside, and we have to go out um if we if we let go of all of that and we are in allowance of the rain then what else can be possible for us and what awareness can we have because if we're in allowance of say we're in allowance of the rain then that opens up different possibilities and perhaps an awareness will pop into your mind it's like yeah it's really raining now and you get the sense that it's going to stop raining in five minutes. And if you just wait five minutes, you can go out and, and be dry. Or you can get the awareness, you know, you, you, different. it opens up different possibilities and it keeps you in the present and it keeps you in choice. So part of, part of um, the reason that I called this um, today's um, show, the gift of allowance is because uh, when you are in allowance, then you are in the present moment, the gift of being in the present. Yes, play on words, oh dear. <laughs> and if you can be in allowance of my, uh, my nerdy sense of humor, then that would be wonderful as well. <laughs> I get a big kick out of um, dodgy jokes and uh, little puns and uh, fun stuff like that. So, yeah, so when, when you are in allowance, then you are totally in the present and you are aware of, of all things going on. And, and, and the more you're willing to be in allowance, the more this expands and your, your um, ability to be in the present and stay present with what's going on, with what the people around you are doing, what the weather's doing, what the planet's doing, what the cars are doing, whatever it is. I just got a sense of um, road rage and, you know, being an allowance of other drivers. What gift could that be to you? Okay. So, yes. And then you are totally present and that's expansive and you have more choice. The more presence you are and you be, the more you are in your potency and people really, really pick up on that when you are totally present then you have a, a, um, a strength and potency that other people um, are more likely to um, not do their crap around you because they, they sense that, that you're less willing to, to accept it. You're less willing to, um, to, you might be an allowance of them doing crap, but you're not going to put up with them being crappy to you. <laughs> so do feel free to put any other comments and questions um Della I loved your comment so thank you for that yes uh and going back to my notes so um yeah so being an allowance is about recognizing what people are doing and being and not being blind to it and pretending that it's okay, pretending not pretending they're not doing it, and not being blind to the fact that they are doing it, and um, so that that's again uh, allowance is very much um, hand in hand with uh, awareness, and I mean that's one of the beautiful things about these tools and these energies. You know, when you pick one and begin to expand and be more of that then all the others come into play as well and you get more and more and more and it exponentializes um in in fun and fabulous ways so um another thing that gary says in um the telecall is that allowance is a creative energy that allows you to be in the question and allows you to change anything <laughs> I hope you're in allowance of me moving, moving my hands around. It's, it's, it's fun for me. So, <laughs> ah, Yes, allowance is a creative energy that allows you to be in the question and allows you to change anything. 
So not only does it mean that you are, when you are an allowance, you are super aware of all that's going on around you and what people are up to around you. And also, and that it gives you a sense of future as well. You know, even if it's like nanoseconds into the future, like I was saying about the, um, about the rain, you know, you just, your perception grows. Yeah, so, so you have these, uh, your superpowers are kicking in. You know, the more you're willing to be an allowance, the more your superpowers of awareness can kick in and the other superpowers as well. So yeah, so being in the question, question, choice and possibilities, the more in allowance you are, the more that opens up and that allows you to change anything. So it can change the stuff that's a bit, Ugh, and you're not enjoying and also it can change the stuff that's that's fabulous and you'd like to uh, grow it and have more of it and and more like that what more can you have that that's change that's you know be an allowance of more more of the fun more of the joy more of the possibilities okay so i've talked about just checking my notes uh, you don't have to be, you don't have to put up with crappy behavior. Um, yeah, so allowance is being present and aware, and it's about acknowledging who and what people are without judging it. So this, without judging it is, um, I touched on this already. Um, so judging is where we stand stick ourselves and um, causes separations and it closes off our awareness and it closes off all those lovely superpowers. It shuts down um, our questions because uh, when we judge, we're more likely to go into conclusions and um, and put up walls and barriers and define and like close, just basically close everything down with this little, this judgment that is, so um, when we are in allowance, we are out of judgment. And one of the, um, and this again is a muscle. It, maybe it'll happen overnight for you. And great, tell me about it. I would love to hear your adventures in allowance, your experiences with allowance. What's, what works for you? What tools you use to, be, to expand and be more in allowance? And I mean, even that tool of expanding just, and that can be, you can, you can breathe, you know, just pause, breathe and allow yourself to expand out energetically. And interesting point of view is a fabulous tool for getting out of judgment and, and inviting more allowance. So with, with the example of someone lying to us, so interesting point of view, they are a liar, I have that point of view. Interesting point of view, I have that point of view. They are a liar. Interesting point of view, I have that point of view. And um, one of the ways to use this tool is to say it and breathe and say it and space and say it and be aware of the subtle changes and um and keep saying it until the energy shifts and change um and until you don't have a point of view about it and maybe you can laugh about it or maybe maybe you can just eh, okay well that's them or you know you 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 your you go on to something else so keep saying the interesting point of view i have this point of view and sometimes sometimes saying it i i my personally have found that sometimes i need to say it through gritted teeth interesting point of view i have this point of view <sighs> interesting point of view i have that point of view and if you can say it out loud fabulous and if you're in the moment, in the, you can say it, you can just say it in your head. Um, sometimes if you're in a conversation, I like to just play a little bit with it because it's fun for me. And um, if someone's saying something that's like, oh, oh, the judgments are really coming up, like politics, I'm talking people talking about politics is like, oh, you know, whatever your triggers are. But I find that... Um, you know, some people's political views that they want to impel onto you, I find that not so much fun. 
so um uh, you know i i i find myself judging them so i'll say oh now that's that's an interesting point of view and in my head i'm going interesting point of view i have that point of view interesting point of view they have that point of view interesting point of view i have that point of view so i'm going to be um so interesting point big reveal time <laughs> interesting point of view is going to be my um 30 day challenge in the free choosing for today facebook group so if you would like it's going to start today just directly after this i'm going to jump over to the um free group and um and start the interesting point of view challenge so um if that's fun for you to join me then do come on over um we'll be doing it interesting point of view for 30 days and see see what that creates what allowance could you be if you chose interesting point of view for everything 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 for 30 days uh oh don't do that i oh, know <laughs> so um when we're in going back to allowance when we're in judgment we are not in allowance so um yeah so what are you willing to be an allowance of so this this tool of allowance it's uh it can be a bit of a tricky one especially at first you know so um ah uh, what if you started your adventure of allowance by willing being willing to be an allowance of you uh oh would you be willing to be an allowance of you um your quirkiness the things that people judge you for the things that you in the past have judged you for what if you could start noticing when you're not in allowance of you and using a tool let's go with interesting point of view for now but you choose a tool that's fun for you you know whether it's simply expanding out or we've talked about lots of tools so yeah so noticing when you're judging you so like for instance um wake up in the morning look in the mirror be like oh i look terrible today interesting point of view i have that point of view what if i were willing to be in allowance of the way i look interesting point of view i have that point of view what if you were willing to be in allowance of the way you look interesting point of view i have that point of view and then just notice as the energy shifts and um and keep going keep going with it keep going with it throughout your day you can keep going with it like silently in your head or um uh as you i'll talk more about the interesting point of view tool in in the other one i'm getting carried away now so allowance what if you're willing to have allowance of you and um so something else that um i'm going to go back to my notes so something else that that gary says in the um allowance the ultimate source of success call is you cannot receive if you're not in allowance so if you're not in allowance, you, you cannot receive, you are cutting off your receiving. So when you're not in allowance of yourself, what receiving of you are, are you cutting off? And if you can't receive you, then how can anybody else receive you? So what allowance for you could you be? And if you weren't cutting off if you weren't willing to cut off your your receiving what allowance could you be <laughs> i love playing with words so and what fun could you have with being an allowance what fun could you have with with being an allowance of you and you might say well i am an allowance of me i am so much more an allowance of me than i used to be and that's certainly the case um for me and is there more allowance you could be for you I know there's more allowance I could be for me. So what fun could you have with it? And everywhere you're not willing to be an allowance of you, would you be willing to change that and let that go? Thank you. Okay, so, uh, 
yes so the the i'm just running through my notes like oh did i say that did i say that oh yes um and i hope you will be an allowance of me reading my notes just skimming through them yeah and so if if you're willing to be an allowance of you how much more fun could you have so just just play with this for a moment um if you're around if someone you're around so we're just coming up to the holiday season the christmas season i'm english so i'm gonna call it christmas and um you know it's a time when a lot of people get together a lot of people get together with their family spend time more time with people that they had, that wouldn't normally spend time with um uh people sometimes people we spend time with people this time of year that we don't interact with the whole rest of the year. And maybe there's a good reason for that. <laughs> so <laughs> so um, that is one of the, um, the, the things that I thought, what allowance could you be for you and for the people that um, you may be spending more time with um, this Christmas, this holiday season? Um, yeah and what gift could that be for you what gift could you being an allowance of you be for them because how much fun is it to be around someone who's judging themselves all the time like oh my god i'm so stupid oh how did i get that wrong oh my god you know all of that how much and then they get cross with themselves you know for instance like um the stress of Christmas and around Christmas. So the, you know, trying to be perfect. So when we are trying to be perfect, are we being an allowance? <laughs> are we being an allowance of things not being perfect? And how much fun is it being around someone who is trying to cook the perfect Christmas dinner and they're burning themselves and they're dropping stuff and they're like, oh, it's shouting and screaming and all kinds of stuff. And you try and help them and they like shout at you or like send you away. Like, ah. It's not a lot of fun to be around someone who is not in allowance and is constantly, constantly judging themselves and judging others and you know being judgy and all of those things so what gift could you being an allowance be to other people and how much fun is it to be around people who aren't constantly judging themselves and they're just eh, relaxed about things and yes they, they they're not they're not slovenly and um you know it's it's like but they just don't constantly make themselves wrong there's an ease around them and it's so much more fun to be around them and the more willing you are to be an allowance of you would you be willing to notice the impact and effect it's having on those around you your colleagues people at work people you interact with your family even people like strangers on a train or at the bus stop or whatever it is even like i mentioned before um road rage you know the other drivers and how they when you're willing to be in in allowance of you how how does that change the way the interactions around you that you have just notice it what fun could you have playing with that the gift of allowance so yes going back to my notes again and um, so what are you willing to be an allowance of? Are you willing to be an allowance of you? Are you willing to be an allowance of um, Christmas not being perfect or the holiday season not being perfect? Are you willing to be an allowance of your body? Uh-oh, that's a whole new body thing. Hey, body, what would it take for you to have allowance of your body? especially around this time of year where there's so much food and so much alcohol and so much like body stuff maybe you're you're interacting with people you haven't seen in a year or more and um and you're judging your body for being fatter than it was last time you saw looking older than it was last time you saw, you know all of those things what allowance could you have for your body? 
are you willing to be an allowance of your body so you can just start playing with this without judging yourself and making yourself wrong and interesting point of view i have that point of view i'm not willing to be in allowance of like my body getting fatter i'm not willing to be in allowance of the wrinkles on my face i'm not willing to be in allowance of my body in that way interesting point of view i have that point of view interesting point of view i have that point of view and what if you're willing to just keep playing with that and notice where you are willing to have allowance and where you're not willing to have allowance and be an allowance of that of not being willing you know noticing that oh okay, i wasn't willing to have allowance there mm, that's interesting point of view and have allowance for yourself with that what fun could you have playing with that so how about are you willing to be an allowance of money how much you have how much you don't have how willing are you to be an allowance of money so i'll be talking more about that in the interesting point of view challenge because that's a fun one for me because it's money 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 oh and yeah and i did say that the the underlying core of these is about money so yes yeah so um when you are in willing to be in allowance i started to say earlier you can you are become more attractive in so many ways and you become more of an invitation to money and wealth and riches and when you are in allowance you are more open to receiving as as i said before about um uh you cannot receive if you're not in allowance that gary says that so um when you are more willing to be in allowance then you are more open to receiving and you can receive more so that would be an interesting one to notice as well um how much more money can you receive if you're uh, when you are in allowance of money of you and money and all the other things interesting point of view i have that point of view okay and are you willing to be an allowance of stupid people so that's another thing about you know this just uh, another fun one so how stupid do people get even people that we think oh come on you you're intelligent you're bright you you know you know better and they act stupidly say stupid things mm. how willing are you to be in allowance of their stupidity and their stupidness and how willing are you to be an allowance of the things that other people judge that you do or say stupid so again we've talked about lots of the tools that you can use and uh fun for your family friends and colleagues to be around you when you're in an allowance it was more fun for money to be around you when you're in allowance and yeah is more you can receive so much more of different things that you didn't even think were possible to receive um, because you are more in allowance then you are more receptive to receiving so an allowance um, is also part of um, the five five elements of intimacy so from the foundation manual and um, five elements of intimacy um, is about honor trust allowance and uh, let me just uh turn it over gratitude and vulnerability yeah so the five elements of intimacy allowance is right in there along with honor trust allowance vulnerability and gratitude so um how grateful could you be for the allowance that you already have and how much more could you expand that allowance so allowance let me just read you what what um, it says in the foundation manual on the five elements of intimacy on the allowance the part about allowance so it says allowance has no point of view allowance is it is all an interesting point of view 
and they use the example that we've been talking about as well. Interesting point of view, this person is lying to me. Do they really think I don't know? Interesting point of view. Maybe they do know that you, they're aware that you know they're lying, they know they're lying. Um, interesting point of view. <laughs> Ah, allowances, everything they say or do is just an interesting point of view and has no relationship to you. So as I was saying before, it's not personal to you and you don't need to give it any meaning. Oh, they're lying to me because they think I'm stupid. No, just leave. You don't need to add the because, blah, blah, blah. When you can be in allowance, there is no because. It's just, okay, interesting point of view. And then you have choice and awareness and presence and more. Superpowers. And the last thing it says in the uh, foundation manual, it says um, about allowance. Allowance gives you the willingness to be who you are when nobody else is willing to be them. Going to read that again. Allowance gives you the willingness to be who you are when nobody else is willing to be them. That, my friend, is super profound. So, how many people are being themselves in the holiday season, or how many people are they, are they trying to like put on a good image, or like you know pretend to be? they're doing better because you haven't seen the one they've got to like put this front on or you know they've got to give you this kind of gift to to prove that whatever how many people are willing to be themselves and when you are in allowance allowance gives you the willingness to be who you are when nobody else is willing to be them what a gift what a gift of allowance. So I am going to, um, I'm going to end this week's uh, show here. Thank you so much for listening along, joining along, watching. And um, uh, the next show will be here, same time, same place. And um, any questions or comments you have, I love your questions. And um, yeah, I've been Nikki Duffy, choosingfortoday.com, the Choosing For Today show. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. And if you'd like to join me on the, um, uh, the, the challenge, the 30 day challenge of interesting point of view, I'm hopping over to the free group now. See you soon. <laughs>